Hey crazy man, um, so game changer yet, so let's have a little scanny. So you must be doing a lot right mate, 48% uh, defending HQ is very, very good, 79, um, superb. And if you look, I mean, it's it's not like you're not playing PvP, so a few people have higher um, um, uh, defence um, because they're not playing PvP, uh, which obviously generally means you're uh, obviously getting targeted by higher players uh, when you do um, so that's obviously a good start uh, let's have a little scanny um, obviously you probably already were uh, have a look at uh, upgrading those fobs get them a little bit higher or as high as you can looks like you're already working on that anyway let's have a little scan of the base okay so um, observation regarding uh, deployments uh, very very good um, there's no major sort of gaps that I can see. There's nothing where you could spawn uh, quite close to. Um, maybe have a think about where you, you suspect people are going to attack from. Um, I mean, certainly I'd be probably into um, up and over type um, uh, firepower. I mean, you'd have to check whether uh, M270s are a factor at uh, 37. I'm not quite sure um, uh, if they are or not. If the Certainly if I was attacking you, I would... Uh, take the risk of the uh, salvo there I'd probably park my tank in that location um, that's highlighted in red so the salvo locks onto it and I'd go up and over your base with the M270s um, you could do poss possibly the same with mortal men as well at certain your level um, so I would probably suggest that you have some sort of mine cover around the back here if you think it's going to be uh, mortal men that's going to get you then obviously you'd go for um, uh, anti-personnel uh, I would obviously expect it to be vehicle you've got two mines here and two mines here um, so that's obviously where you think people are going to attack from uh, whether it would be or not I don't know um, so have a little scanny and th see what you feel about that going on um, your walls are very very tight so obviously you know the principle of everything spawning the uh, and obviously being trapped inside the wall the only thing I would look at is I think your base could be too big um, if I decided to come in from this angle here and start to come along this turret here, I reckon I could obviously take that turret uh, and probably nothing else would know I was there. Um, I could then um, take out the rail gun and probably just get picked up by the salvo, I guess. Um, so it's just... By having a smaller base, potentially, I think you can uh, get a more condensed um, sort of attack. I mean, the helicopters, for me, why they would need to be inside the walls when they fly over the walls, um, I've, I've, um, I would probably have them outside the wall, if I'm honest. I mean, you know, if you're worried that they're going to get attacked, obviously, the way that you're deploying uh, all your... Um, or your buildings to push that spawn zone far out means you could bring your helicopter outside the wall, reduce the wall, and then your helicopter is technically in the same place it is now, but um, obviously your base would be even tighter still. Uh, the principle of that is that if I decided to attack this turret, um, yes, you've got that salvo picking you up, but not a great deal else. Certainly the rail guns won't pick you up, and the other salvo won't, and the machine guns won't. So for me, uh, you could risk a sneaky attack um, and take out half of your base on this this side here uh, and then this side wouldn't know anything about it so it's just having a little think about um, you know the base size um, I get actually turrets outside my base rather than in my base um, if that makes sense uh, I find that gives me a smaller footprint uh, much tighter walls because um, all I really want to t protect with my walls um, is just the wall factory and the barracks um, everything else is kind of secondary uh, I'll kind of show you what that might look like Um, so this is my base. I mean, we share a lot of similarities. The fact that I'm pushing everybody out uh, spawn zone wise, um, so you have a quite a bit of a trek uh, to the base. But I've gone for a more condensed sort of method. And if you look at how condensed the turrets are, so that um, if you attack this or this or this or this, you tend to find that other turrets will always be covering you. Um, there's no sort of easy turret to to take out. I'm always trying to inflict damage on you. Um, I mean, certainly I've, I'm looking at air defence. Uh, I'm not sure if you've got that uh, sort of dialed in yet. Um, I'm certainly looking at the newer turrets, which again you may not have just yet. But the peacemaker, as soon as you can get that, make sure you do so. And as soon as you can get the big um, um, 
heavy platform make sure you do so it's difficult because you're level 37 it's been a while since i've been there and last time i was 37 all these um turrets didn't exist so where they come into your game i'm not quite sure um but i'll just it's more principles than anything so the principles the same where i'm trying to if anything spawns it's trapped inside the base you've got that sourced um, the only difference is with mines, I'm, I'm kind of assuming people are going to come in from distance, so I'm trying to think, well, where will you come from, where will you likely want to park and fire at us. Um, admittedly, once you get past those mines, uh, they, um, you know, they're, they're not going to uh, affect you where your mine's being close up. Uh, obviously, you'll have more damage from them, um, potentially, but... I'm kind of thinking, where are people going to want to get to to take me out? So, uh, you know, I'm thinking they want to take this big turret here. Well, they're going to have to park around about here. Um, or they're going to come in from this angle. Oh, don't want to move that. Um, I'm kind of thinking they'll if they come from this angle, have a little mine in that sort of area and things along that sort of line. So the, the, I'm, I'm very deliberate where I sort of place mines and things. Uh, uh, I'm kind of always protecting over the top of um, the... Uh, mountains make sure obviously nothing can get, sort of get us from uh, around the back um i'll have a peacemaker there again you haven't got that yet uh, but that's all you know everything's just trying to protect everything i guess is is the what i would try and instill in you now to be fair with you, bro your base is really really good there's not much that you could do differently um until you start upgrading things but a smaller base a smaller footprint with perhaps all your turrets causing a problem at a similar sort of amount of time rather than one at a time um, you know makes it potentially a harder base to combat um, that's all I would try and sort of instill in you um, I don't think you need much more coaching than that bro I don't think you're doing anything particularly wrong I think your base is sound your figures suggest it's really really good um, so just keep at it just keep watching your replays keep checking um, for how people are attacking you uh, and certainly don't need your reaction I mean I, I found that I got taken out by um, you know a guy with you know full choppers um, and I tried to obviously adapt and then you kind of think well how often am I attacked with just choppers um, not very often so do, you know try and uh, protect from the most things that you get most times rather than that one off it's like somebody comes along with a nuke it's game over for me but what sort of base wouldn't you be you know what I mean it's it's um, it's obviously a trade-off really you just got to try and protect yourself from most things most times rather than the odd uh, you know very very clever attack you can't can't cover everything but uh, just just keep what you do mate looks looks really good um, you should be very pleased with yourself cheers mate